Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to the, oh, not the, a new campaign in European Universalis 4. It's been about a month now since I've done my last one, and I haven't done an achievement campaign, from what I can remember, in quite a while. So I think this time we're going to do achievement campaign, as you can probably see, uh, Switzerland. And we're going to do the Switzerland achievement, uh, which is get 99 provinces with none of those being port provinces. So, uh... Stuff like this doesn't count with, like, it's inland lakes. Because they don't technically count as, like, sea areas. They just, they're for looks, to be honest. So it's just 99 provinces. That is basically, you know, most, it's pretty much all the HRE, some areas around here. It depends which direction you sort of tend to go in. But you can, you know, it's not, there's a lot of provinces crammed into this area. So it's not like you have to, you know, do a massive blob here to get it. Um, but ne nevertheless, it's still, you know, a fairly challenging achievement. But we will give it a go and see how we get along. It's not time capped, so you literally have the entire game to do it, um, which would be nice. Um, so yeah, so I thought I should probably come back and, you know, start playing again. Been a month out and sort of got over being a bit wary with it all and, uh, a bit bored, so I'm excited to get this campaign going. So before we start, we will have a look at uh, Switzerland's national ideas, if I can remember where how to play. So they've got stability cost modifier, pretty good. And you know, that's fairly nice. Mercenary maintenance, minus 25%, that's good. Um, fort maintenance, minus 20, also good. Uh, Switzerland's got a load of hills and mountainous regions. Um, so, really good for forts, so really high defensiveness, so it means you can build more forts, um, which is really nice, or also upgrade your forts back more. So, like, if you've got a really good montane fort, I think this is one of them, yep. If I were to upgrade this fort, it would be a lot cheaper to keep. Development cost, always a good thing. Tolerance of heretics, um, that would be good. This campaign, basically, I'm going to try and cozy up to the Emperor, which means if I'm allied to him, which is Austria, uh, obviously, cause just starting out, means I could go to war with other members of the HRE without him coming in and trying to beat me up. So, we'll do that. Um, and the tolerance of heretic stuff sort of helps when the Reformation comes. Um, I'm going to, depending on what the Emperor does, will sort of probably dictate on what I decide to do with regards to what religion I decide to support. Yearly prestige, sort of okay, good, I guess. And production efficiency just means a bit more money. Um, straight from the start though, you have national manpower modifier plus 10% and infantry combat ability plus 10%. Pretty good. And then you end up getting plus 5% discipline at the end. Um, regarding uh, the ideas which we're gonna go for, diplomatic, we're in the HRE. That is pretty much the best thing to do when you're in the HRE is go diplomatic straight off. Getting a diplomat, an extra diplomat straight at the start is brilliant. And then all the other benefits are just really nice. After that, we'll probably go for admin, uh, primarily for the core creation cost. But then there's also the, the buffs to mercenaries. Because with benefits for mercenaries, that'll give us a 50% reduction in mercenary cost, which is lovely. Um, oh, sorry, mercenary maintenance. Mercenary cost will just get minus 25 from here. Um, but from there, we'll probably also go for influence. Just because influence, again, gives us a lot of sort of reputational diplomatic buffs and stuff like that. So that's really that's really good. Um, to start off with, I think we probably want to sort out our diplomat. Oh, not our diplomat, our merchant. So we'll probably just chuck him here. Because it's not really great. Or we can't do anything else with him at the moment. We're redirecting trade into here. So you might as well try and keep as much trade there as possible. Um, diplomats. What do we want to do? What are our missions like? Solidify papal relations. Get opinion to 100. So we'll do that. Improve relations. Go. Um, and I guess we want to... What do we want to do? Who Who's rivaled us straight from the, the get-go? Um... <sighs> Savoy... They're going to be sort of a principal rival. They haven't rivaled me yet. Where's Augsburg? They're like up here somewhere. Oh no, Augsburg's just there. Uh, Ravensburg, I'm going to 
do a rival, because I'm going to try and take that province. Fairly sharpish. Um, Memming again, or Baden, I probably want to do. But I can't really get to Memmingen until I've taken Ravensburg, but by that point, Ravensburg would have been removed from my rivals list because they won't exist. So then I could just take them once Ravensburg are gone. So, Baden. And I'll leave that... Actually, I'm just going to put Savoy. Because they're pretty much going to be my rival in perpetuity. Because they've got two provinces, Vald and Volis, which historically, I guess, used to be mine. Um, so I'm going to want to be taking those back. Um, straight from the start, I think we're going to reduce army maintenance and put recruit uh, root ant corruption up. Um, what are we going to do then? Um, so that will give us a bit more money because in a little bit of time we'll be able to get um, enough to actually build our first buildings once that uh once we unlock those which would be really nice for a little income boost because that as a small miner with really not very high development provinces that will be the first thing that will sort of slow us down quite a bit will be the the money um what else are we doing then so how well this goes the starting game largely depends on who allies who straight off the bat I'm going to actually improve relations with Milan first, because I want to get an alliance with them as quickly as possible. Austria want military access, that's fine. Um, because Austria will likely not want to even touch me, like, with, like, alliance-wise. They, being the emperor, will spend so much time worrying about their electors that they won't really care about me, so they're not going to ally me, um... So there's no point wasting a few ticks trying to get relations up with them. So we'll go straight from Milan, I think. And the good thing is, is we've also probably... Oh, what? I'm actually quite surprised they haven't rivaled Savoy. Uh... Papal State are all with England already. Oh, they must have... Yeah, they've allied France. Yes, they have. Good, good, good. So... How are these alliances going? Um, so I'm going to get us some more troops. We'll get those troops all sorted. Uh, give us a little bit of a bonus over Ravensburg. And what we'll do is... What we don't want, basically, is people to ally Ravensburg. Because as soon as Raven... Ravensburg end up getting a bunch of allies. Sort of slows us down quite a bit. So, will you ally me yet? No, it won't be long before they will. In any case, once we're done with our mission in the Papal State, I'll immediately get... I was just thinking, actually, I'll immediately get a spy network going in Ravensburg. But... There we go, that's... Let's remove that for the second. Actually, or do we want to? Because thing is, I can't attack these guys for the moment, because Austria just will not stand for it. They will be like, no, we're not aligned. Form alliance with Milan. There we go, that's a good one. They will not, you know, stand for it, pretty much. They'll, you know, they will go on the side of the defender. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, who do I need to get an alliance with, though, is the question. Other than Milan, of course. I'm intrigued why this is going... Why well, it's taking much longer than I had anticipated to get an alliance with Milan. It looks like it's going to be within our reach. Seems like every two ticks we get an extra point towards them accepting... Come on. I'll keep it at speed 5 for the moment. Because at the moment, that, as an OPM, there's not really a lot we could do. We can't influence anyone or really do anything of, of any great use. So I don't see the point in keeping it at a really low speed. Because it'll just be boring. Like There'll be like five episodes literally just sat here waiting for relations to improve and stuff like that. I'm actually going to quickly nip out of there and offer them the alliance... 
just in case, by some sheer fluke, they decide... Ooh, rival of our rival. Let's get that. Mains. Where are your mains? Just by some sheer fl fluke, they, like, filled up their relations with somebody else, and then I would have wasted all that time. Um, where's mains? There you are. The bit, it, it's probably the big thing that says mains. Uh, so improve relations with you. Good, good, good. You can see why this uh, doing, taking diplomatic ideas is a really good choice. Because you basically have, at least at the start of the game, got so many different things going on. With regards to... Let's uh, put Ravensburg. Oh no, they already are. you got so many different things going on with regards to like getting relationships with various people. Oh, we'll get the admin power. Relationships with various people. Alliances. Claims. Everything. That just... Even getting one more diplomat is a huge bonus. Right, we'll bring our guy back from the Papal State. And we will have a look and see who we could potentially get an alliance with. We'll reduce the speed, but keep it playing. Uh, diplomacy. Right. Who wants an alliance? Alsace. Platinum. Ooh, pl Platinum. Oh, no, they literally just got... Well, they would have done, but they, they are currently being... What's did? Um, Bohemia might do. Tell you what, Provence... Oh no, Provence have rivaled me. Never mind. Alsace. They're a bit too close. Trier. Trier would. Let's improve relations with Trier. So, we'll do one with Trier, maybe Würzburg as well. That might not be such a bad idea. But we'll wait for this mission to finish and then we'll with withdraw our diplomat. How are we doing money-wise? We're gaining 0 0.5. God, we're practically rolling in it. Um, We will need to do some development at some point. I don't really want to do... Too much of it. Wow. Because the thing is, the more we do, the more we'll fall behind. But I don't really want to... I suppose we could do a lot of diplomatic development. Uh, we'll keep this guy. Because he's already good. He's already... Wow, he's a 2-2-3. Two, two, he's better than a... Like, somebody with 1-4 and 2-1s. So we might as well keep him for the moment. And he is now a... Let me just check. <laughs> yeah, 334. So we'll do that and we'll probably actually do it again if he survives, if he lives long enough. Um, so it gives you that sort of early boost of monarch power before the inevitable drop. Um, reclaim Vord. I'm going to wait until another mission pops up because that mission's pretty much always going to be there as far as I'm aware. Uh, right, Trier. Alliance, please. Who else? Hess. Who are you allied with? Cologne, Mainz, and Nassau. You're allied with Austria. You might not be a bad idea to go for, actually, Platinate. So we're going to go and improve. Ooh, Milan gave me stuff. We're going to go for stability, obviously. Much more valuable than prestige. We are losing prestige, though. So, eventually we'll have to do some stuff that will give us bonus prestige. Eventually. Hopefully, Milan... Because Milan have got really high development promises. They've got... They start off with... I mean, this is a little ridiculous. A 30, 19, 20, and 16. <laughs> it's like nuts. Like, kill for that. Um, so, you... Hmm... All right, let's recall you for a second. Get an alliance with Platinet. Um, who else? Who are the Platinet allied with? Alsace, Ansbach, Bohemia, 
Okay, let's try for Bohemia. It might not happen. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to recall that guy and then just... Um, he'll probably end up going straight back to the same place. But I want him to... There you go. Be somebody who bonus benefits... Or bumps up, sorry, the relations within our alliances. Savoy has announced Switzerland as their rival. Not surprising in the slightest. Right, that is good. And so is that. So we can now build a church, which we will do straight away. Oh, no. I built it in the wrong place. There you go. Which will give us a little bit of extra money. That's the hope, anyway. Accumulate money. Um, gauge us 10 prestige, so we will go for that. Um, where is... Do all of these produce iron? Where's our development tab? Cost. Oh. Okay, Baron. Hmm. Let's develop Baron a little bit. Just want that sweet, sweet income from the iron. It's bumped up a little bit. As soon as we get the workshops, which I believe is... Is that the first or second? Okay. Oh, no, that's Marketplace. Yeah, no, workshops come up here a little bit later, don't they? Um, so as soon as we get workshops, we could pop one down in Bairn, and that will increase the income there. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. What do we do? Presumably, they already dislike me. What are the chances that Austria will actually enact that? I don't want to take that chance. I'd rather not. I, I, I'm that Sundgau province is useless to me, so I'm not going to be too worried. Uh, siege ability, no forts for our strength for the moment. Um, to get an alliance with France would be a big win. So, after we've done with our current sort of scheming, trying to get alliances, we'll go after them. That might be a little bit down the line, so at the moment they're going to be wasting their time sort of consolidating their power in other ways. Lose money, as we are already at zero stability. Good, good, good. How's it looking with Bohemia? They would actually accept an alliance. Who are they at war with? Uh, Moldavia, Hungary, and Teutonic Order. Um, that might not go so well for them, then. Maybe we don't want them as an, in an alliance, because if we do, then they will uh, we'll get dragged into all that sort of mess. We'll see how they come out of that war. They may, they may well win. They are against Hungary, though, so I doubt it. Hungary are quite large at the start of the game. So let's actually pull back from Bohemia. We know we can ally them now. Um... It's just a case of whether we want to. So we'll focus on France for a little while. France have got Austria. They have. There's nothing more awkward than, like, the situation where Austria and France choose to like one another. Because then you get this weird stalemate where nobody can really use... Like, none of the OPMs and other small nations along this sort of range can really use one or the other to hit the other with as a, sort of a big stick. Um, so it's a bit awkward. Um, cool. Going okay so far. We've got money, so we're going to wait until we get to 55. I think it's 50. It was, I mean, I think this mission, it changes. Yeah, so if, now he wants us to get 58 ducats before we can get the mission. So we're going to sit there and wait. If Milan would be so kind as to give us money, I would be well up for that. But that might just be a bit of a pipe dream. Who knows? Who knows what else is going on in the world? Ooh, keep this chap again, please. Hopefully he doesn't die on us. That would be a bit annoying after I just spent all of this Republican tradition. How old is he? He's 50. That's not too bad. His improved relations stuff is a bit rubbish, though. His reduction to it. So, England are doing sort of as... 
Wow, well, they haven't really done anything, to be honest. As expected, I guess. France, I would have perhaps expected them to have taken more. Oh, it looks like Burgundy took Calais. So France have taken some stuff. They took all of these bits from England and Co. They just haven't taken Normandy. Right, what are we doing here then? Marketplace. We do need to actually take this. Because otherwise what will happen is we'll fall behind and then awkwardness ensues. Uh, sure, Papal State. You can have military access. It's really nice that we're being able to get this decent amount of uh, Monarch power right at the start of the game. It gives us a nice boost. How are we looking, France? Do you love me? Almost. We're not too far off. Ooh. I want some prestige, actually. Thanks. I'm creeping a bit too close to uh, zero for my liking. Who have Savoy? They are allied with Austria, Venice, and Luca. So... Venice, it's not surprising they're allied. That will be a bit of an issue because Venice are pretty darn strong. Um, because of the amount of money they have, even though they don't have a huge number of provinces, Venice are insanely strong. They will probably have already like 20 troops, I imagine. Uh, recall our guy from France. So what I'm going to do is set our guy for threatening countries. There we go. Hey, accumulated the money. <laughs> what other missions do we have? Reclaim Vord. I'm going to leave that there and see what other missions pop up. Unfortunately, I think this campaign is going to be very much sort of a snowball-y sort of campaign. Um, where we maybe start off quite low. Ooh, what have we got now? Yeah, maybe where we don't start off, you know, with loads of instant conquests and stuff like that. I get the feeling it's going to be very much more sort of maybe the first few the first few techs, the first few idea groups. You just sort of sit there and build up your power, you know, strengthen the, the areas you do have. Um, and then wait for, you know, the correct moment before then sort of pouncing on your enemies. What would be brilliant uh, is if... Austria lost the um, Holy Roman Empire. Oh, lost control of it, sorry. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to happen, because at the moment these guys just seem to be squabbling between who they vote for. But it seemed, I swear we just saw at least one person change their vote. Um, but unfortunately, because they're not all for the same people... It doesn't really matter. If one more of these people went to the Platina, then it'd be get more a bit interest a bit more interesting. Because we're already allied with the Platina. So that'd be really good. Because if yeah, if they So maybe we should ally. We got one more spot. Um let's go here. Let's have a look, see. We are allied with Mainz, Trier. And so maybe we could do, they would not, Mainz would not, Cologne, potentially, potentially. Uh, where's Cologne? All the way up hither. They're not, they're not being, uh, oh no, there they are. Um, so maybe they wouldn't be a bad one to do. It depends, because that all sort of relies on on uh, Austria losing. Yeah, it all relies on Austria essentially losing the emperorship. Let's let's try and get Cologne as an ally. Because if we can get the electors as allies, that will go quite well. Um, let's instantly go for diplomatic. And I don't think we'll do a focus yet because we're, you know, we've got quite a good spread as it is, I think. Actually, no, no, sorry, that's, you know, I think we will do a focus on diplomatic for a second. I was just looking at the 
you know, we're ahead on both of the other ones, obviously behind on te Diplo Tex, but I don't really care about it as much. Right. You guys are more than happy to get an alliance. How old's this bloke now? 55. I'm going to chance it, you know, and get him again. It means that after this, we won't be able to do this again for a good while. Unfortunately. Um, let's send you off, or send somebody off to talk with Pope Man. How are France doing? They actually are not too far off accepting me, wanting to become an ally. They just wrecked Burgundy, so this, this game's already speeding up quite fast. How's everyone... Oh, okay, so Austria are going to lose. If this stays as it is, the Platinum will win. And I'm already allied to the Platinum, so that would be absolutely brilliant. Um, gain autonomy. I really don't want to lose admin power at this stage, if I can help it. Im improve relations with Baden? No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to attack him at some point. Um, okay. Right, I'm going to recall our guy from Clone. I did actually get them as an No, I haven't got them yet as an ally. Hurdy der. There you go. Get that. Um, I'm going to focus on getting a Spine Eric in Ravensburg. So I'm going on the assumption at the moment that Austria are going to lose and the Platinum are going to win. Because at the moment, as you can see, the Platinum have got the most votes. I think. Ah, uh, this has just changed to Austria. Yeah, so is Trier's vote. So never mind, Austria are going to retain. Unless it changes again. But there's a while to wait, at least. Um, so that could change. But I'm going to get these claims based on the assumption that the uh, that Austria may lose their... Um, their what's it called? Probably won't happen, but... I'll do this just in case. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to recall our guy from Popeland. Milan uh, is going to war with Ferrera and Genoa. That's fine, I'll, I'll help them. Um, I want a leader. Oh, he's poor. <laughs> um, so I'm going to chuck uh, two people doing allies. I can get you there, which means I can cancel you. Who else is my rival? I forget. Um, Ravensburg, Savoy. Okay, so I'm probably going to get... Let's have a look at getting this province from Baden. If I can get some favours sorted. No. Oh. Lovely. Right, I'm going to... Can I get in there? No, I can't stack wipe them. That's a little bit annoying. I'm going to move my troops off because I'm not prepared to sit there and soak up that attrition. i got Diplo reputation. Right, and you guys are capturing there. So really, I'm a bit useless here, to be honest. I'm going to stick around, though, just in case I can get in on, on, in on any battles. Yeah, lose that. Distribute the bread. Um, that's still as is. Good. How's these votes going? Looks like Austria have, uh, are going to retain, going to retain the emperorship, which is a little bit sucky, but not much we could do. At least this looks like Milan are going to expand, which is good because uh, it means they are going to be a more powerful ally against Venice and Savoy, which is the main reason I want to ally them. Uh, I'm going to gain the admin, the larger admin power expense for 
Inflation. Oh, there goes my timer. We'll wait until they've taken this province, because I want to get in on this battle. And then we'll end. Hey, I gained two ducats. A measly two ducats. Uh, not two ducats, what am I about? Two prestige. In which case, it wasn't all that measly. Right, and then I should be able to get in on that and gain three. And then I'll also step in on this just to make sure. Lovely. Um, cool. Milan actually... Okay, Milan made Genoa give up a core. Uh, and they split their alliances, but they didn't actually take anything. Hmm. Surprises me. Right, we will... I'm going to wait a second. Wait one more tick, just make sure the army's fully restocked. Which it appears to be, then do that. Whoops. We still at war. Oh, they're capturing Medina. But those are already captured. Oh well. I'll leave them to it. Uh, diplomatic relations plus one. So that is good, because that now leaves us open to potentially explore a relationship with France. Uh, I'm going to get plus one for threatening countries. Ooh, and Baden, I now have, it seems, plenty of space for another claim. There we go. I'll put one on for Burgundy's territory. I probably won't get it because France almost certainly want it. Well, they haven't got a claim on it. But I probably won't get it. So, but, you know, I'll work based on the assumption that there's a chance. I say I want all of that. I say I want those two. And we'll see how that goes. Actually, I'm going to take those off for the moment and just say I want those. Because I'm sure Milan have probably got... I don't think Milan don't. I wonder if I say... I like that, that and that. Because obviously I can't have any coastal provinces. Milan don't have any cores on those. Or claim, sorry. So maybe if I say I like that, Milan won't actually try to get it. It's a... It's a hope. It's a hope. Probably won't come... You know, to mean anything. But we can try. Um, what would be really nice is if Austria got bored with Savoy and decided to ally somebody else. Not because I think they'll ally me, but more just because I don't want them to be an ally with Savoy. Um, I can afford another building, so we will do just that. We will get another building. Um, where will we get another building? I don't suppose it really matters at this stage. So we'll just get one there. Um, and I, I think I'll end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this first episode. Um, if you have any comments or anything like that, please just pop them below. And I will try and take them into consideration when I get on with this campaign next time. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care.